So go ahead and get started. Um, we finished practice 13 today. We had our uh, second game-like uh, practice today with a lot of situations. Um, probably got close to 100 reps uh, between our ones and twos, and um, probably close to uh, about 120 reps with special teams included in there. Um, we're uh, two weeks away from uh, game day. Uh, what we'll do after this uh, practice today is, is really sit down and evaluate where we're at, uh, what our strengths, what our weaknesses are, uh, where we're at with uh, personnel at uh, positions, and uh, then really identify what the plan is for the next two weeks, getting ready uh, for kickoff, uh, looking at things that we've got to shore up, things we've got to, areas that we've got to improve on. Then the other part of it is just uh, if uh, we've been investing some time and, and uh, reps into certain things, uh, whether it be offensively, defensively, or special teams that just at this point don't look right, uh, we, you know, we'll talk about elimination as well. Because um, at the end of the day, you know, we want to try to get a football team that plays fast, uh, plays physical, but also executes at a high level. Uh, and that's been a main focus of training camp, trying to get that done. So uh, we'll evaluate all that here uh, after today over the next couple of days and uh, see where we're at. Uh, with that, I'll go ahead and open up for any questions. Is this the final scrimmage, or do you have another? Uh, we've got a mock game that we'll do next Friday. Um, but typically two weeks out, we won't, uh, other than some controlled live tackling situations in practice, we won't do any live tackling from here on out. I did a quarterback look. Um, so they were better today than they were last Saturday. Um, really just uh, overall offensively, I thought the O-line played better today. Still not where it would need to be for, for game day. Uh, but today they were much better than last uh, Saturday. So I was pleased uh, from that standpoint. Um, we'll have to watch the tape to really get um, a full evaluation, but it just felt different, looked different. Uh, we were able to move the ball more consistently offensively today than we were last Saturday. Uh, so I, I felt a lot better about it. We, we threw and caught the ball better today. Um, issues that we had, we had a couple pre-snap penalties that uh, you, you want to eliminate. Uh, and down in the red zone, uh, we had a couple, not a couple, we had one uh, center quarterback exchange where the ball was on the ground. It would have been covered, recovered defensively uh, that we can't have. Uh, so um, there were a lot of positives to build on, uh, some things that we have to continue to work on to clean up. Last scrimmage we were here, Art had all the first team reps. Did that change today? Uh, they they have split uh, reps with the ones. Um, you know, each day since uh, last Saturday, and it's, it really gets back to when we started. Uh, I told you guys a depth chart is a starting spot. So Art came into training camp as the uh, number one quarterback on the depth chart, and um, you know, it was going to stay that way until somebody else started to approve that they deserved an opportunity. Well, with a new quarterback coming in, it took a while for McLean to learn the playbook, to understand what we were expecting out of him. And through the course of practice, he's made some plays and he's earned the opportunity to get some reps with the ones. Uh, and that's what we've done here this last week. And it concluded with that today uh, in the uh, uh, scrimmage. Um, where we will go from here, um, we'll, we'll determine that after we meet as a staff and have a chance to talk about it. We're not going to name a starting quarterback uh, today, tomorrow, or, or even by Monday. We'll, we'll hopefully be able to get in position to do it sometime next week. Uh, I don't have a timeline. It's just when it's the right thing to do and we feel like it's the best thing for the team, then we'll go ahead and do that. But uh, right now, today, uh, I'm not going to you know, be in a position to say, hey, this guy would be uh, ahead of this guy or we're going to uh, potentially name a, a starter. Has it been 50-50? No, I don't know what the numbers are. You know, I, yeah, I, I would, I'd be lying if I told you uh, an exact percentage because uh, when, the ones, when you're in the move the ball situations, the numbers aren't the same. The ones could go on a 10-play drive, and the twos could go on a three-play drive, and then when they switch, it could be vice versa. So, uh, you know, it's it's not going to be a, a, an exact 50-50 uh, split. We're not going through an exact rep count. Um, if someone's in with the ones, we're going to let them play with the ones, and it may be longer drives to get more reps that particular day or that uh, particular segment, and uh, vice versa. So, some of it's just luck of the draw uh, based on who they're with and how it plays out uh, with that uh, grouping. Would you envision playing both guys against humans? Uh, I'm not, I don't even want to go uh, speculate with, with anything like that. Um, you know, ideally we want to establish uh, who our starting quarterback is, and um, you know, have him lead our offense um, out there on, on game one. Um, you know, but it, it, you know, nothing's off the table. You know, right now we've got to. Uh, obviously, it's no secret. We've talked about this since last year. Uh, we've got to increase uh, the productivity from the quarterback position, and uh, we're not going to rush to make a decision on who gives us the best chance to do that. Um, but uh, I like the progress that both quarterbacks have made. Uh, they're both getting reps with the ones. Um, and it, it still gets back to like we've talked before, the, the one offensive line has got to perform better. So whoever is back there has an opportunity. What's some of the criteria you use to judge on who will be the starting quarterback? 
<laughs> well, there's, there's a number of things. The, the first thing is who do we trust? Um, who can protect the football? Um, then there's there, the other part of it, who's, who just moves the football? And, and uh, uh, who do the other players trust and follow? Uh, that, that's a big part of it as well. But uh, we, we want a leader. Uh, we want a guy that coaches and players alike can, can trust and have faith in, a guy that can make good decisions and protect the football. And then you know some quarterbacks just have that it factor, and they can uh, lead the offense down the field. They can make things happen, and that's part of it too. What are some of the positives that uh, McLean has done? Well, first of all, he's learned the offense. Um, I don't think we've necessarily had to restrict any of the, the play calling with him up to this point. Uh, I think you know, Coach McNulty and offensive staff did a really good job with the installation, giving him a chance to learn it instead of just throw it all at him and, and have him swimming um, and struggling mentally. Uh, I think they, they've been really intentional about how we've installed so he would have a chance to learn it and uh, put himself in position to actually compete. Uh, because what we didn't want to have is a scheme uh, get in the way of letting a guy compete and show his real ability. Uh, so I think the offensive staff has done a good job of that. But his, to his credit, he's done a great job of learning. He's invested the time. He's put in the extra time. He's made the sacrifices uh, to get in and learn what he needs to learn. He's he stayed after he's been here early. Now, whatever he's needed to do, he's done it. So uh, he's put himself in position to showcase his talent from all the extra time that he's invested. When we were here on Saturday, Art didn't turn the ball over. I know they had to fumble down here, but no interceptions. Has he cut down the whole summer on those decisions? Yeah, I mean, um, you, you know, it, it, when an interception happens, uh, the quarterback obviously gets the blame because it goes on his stat sheet. Uh, but a lot of interceptions are not on the quarterback, so to speak. Uh, it could have been a breakdown of protection, a rush uh, throw, or made him make a, a, a fast or poor decision. A lot of times the receivers may not uh, catch the ball cleanly. Um, I would say, uh, to answer your question specifically about Art, uh, his decision making has definitely improved and cleaned up. Um, it's not perfect yet, but it's way better than what it was at this point last year. Uh, and I would say it's better today um, than it was at any point in the season last year. But again, the true test will be when we actually play. Uh, quarterbacks out here are not live. Um, we're not going to hit the, the quarterbacks, um, you know, until they actually play in a game. And uh, that's when you find out really where they're at with this, this, the, uh, the trust of the O-line and their ability to make decisions to protect the football. We'll take two more questions. How would you assess the way the tight end group has blocked? Um, better than I would have expected. Um, when you look at Matt Alimo, he's new to the program. He's been the one consistent guy out there uh, that was here all spring at tight end, and he's been out there every uh, snap here this uh, training camp. Actually, he's done an unbelievable job. Where he was at in spring to where he's at today, completely different player, and I'm excited about his progress. Uh, unfortunately, two other tight ends, Jonathan Lewis and Kyle Pennison, have been limited uh, because of some uh, injuries. Um, I, I think Jonathan will be back for sure. I'm not sure uh, how much longer Kyle will be, but Jonathan will be back relatively soon. Uh, but overall, the position uh, with who's been out there has performed better than, than I uh, had expected, missing those two guys that we're really counting on. What do, think, what do you think of the new stadium? Um, great. You know what the decision was made, um, and um, you know I, I'm more worried about the play in the stadium than I am the name of the stadium. But uh, yeah, whatever uh, is is best for our uh, athletic department and uh, us generating revenue, I'm, I'm, I'm good with whatever it's called. You said you saw a couple nice catches today. Any wide receivers catch your eye at all? Um, no, it was a multitude of, of wide receivers. Uh, there wasn't one individual that made them all. Uh, I think it was spread out throughout the wide receiver group today, which was good to see. Uh, more than one guy stepping up and making some plays. And when I say making some plays, it was more deep balls down the field. Uh, we were not a good deep ball throwing team, throw and catch team last year. I couldn't sit here and tell you that's going to be something we can do consistently this year yet either. But I know after what I saw today, uh, our chances are a lot better. Thanks, guys. Thanks, right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.